Many times I get the question, what is a good destination to go to if you travel alone? Hello, my name is Sabine. I'm a long time solo traveler. I already made more videos with travel tips and of course I shoot videos of the destinations which I already visited. You can watch my other videos, you can subscribe to my channel for free and in this video I give you a few of the countries which I already traveled as a woman alone and I felt perfectly safe at that time. Keep in mind that before you book your next destination always check if it's still a good destination to go to, whether it's political or by nature situations can change. Enjoy watch this video and I say let's explore this world together. The first country is probably a big surprise and a big country too, China. I traveled in China for 30 days and it is perfectly safe because there are cameras everywhere and the police is very strict on the uh, people obeying the rules. So for such a big country, if you look at the crime rate, it's very, very low. And I think in the whole country, if you look like 80 or 90 percent is uh, safe to travel. Between the cities, I use the high speed trains and that was a very comfortable way. Second class is already good enough. The second country will be a nice surprise too, Colombia. I was in Colombia for a month and I traveled uh, different areas. If you look for hotels, hostels in the tourist area, yes, uh, you are perfectly fine. In the night time, maybe it's a late, it's maybe not a good idea to be in the streets alone, but then you can take a taxi or an Uber and you'll be perfectly fine. It's a green, friendly country with very lovely people. Bali, an island of Indonesia. It was my first far away from home uh, travel as a woman alone and it was a very good experience so I was very happy that I picked Bali. Bali is a very green island, the people are super friendly, the food is great, the beds are good too and for even a person alone to travel there is actually very cheap. So for a first time experience I was very very happy that I chose Bali. Thailand is a super friendly country and they are well experienced in a tourist industry. That's also very important because it's very easy to travel in Thailand. There are so many options to go from A to B and they offer so many different tours that if there is no space today, you can be certain that you can go on that uh, tour tomorrow. It's a very good organized country. The beds, the food is great, the prices are cheap and there are many different experiences to get. Costa Rica, one of the safest countries in the world. It's so safe, it doesn't even have an army. It's a country, well, you visit it if you love nature and if you want to see animals, because there are many options there. They have many different national parks to travel. They have beaches, surfing beaches most of the times. I travel between the different areas with the public transportation. It takes you a little bit longer than the tourist transportation, but it saves you a lot of money and it's a very safe country. Vietnam, a very colorful country with lovely people. Despite their very tragic wars in the past, they are still very positive and friendly, peaceful people. There are many options in beds, very cheap too. Very good options in food, lovely food, very cheap too. And it is a country with a good uh, combination of culture and nature. So you can do different experience there. United States of America, a very big country to travel in. It's a very easy country to travel in. I didn't use the public transportation. I rented a car because it's much easier to get around. And I have to say I was very much surprised how relaxed and how polite the American people are in the traffic. It was a very nice experience. It's not the cheapest country to travel in probably, 
but uh, there are many different options there and I really enjoyed uh, in Las Vegas, uh, San Francisco, San Diego and all the national parks I visited. Switzerland, a beautiful country in Europe. It's very famous for its mountains and its lakes and its small villages because even the biggest city in Switzerland is a small city. The public transportation in uh, Switzerland is great. You can get everywhere by train or bus. The downside is actually that it is a very expensive country to travel. The transportation is expensive, the food is expensive, but you have to say it is a very, very beautiful country to visit. Guatemala, a country in Central America, a country with many volcanoes and many Maya sites. It has a good combination between culture and nature, colorful people, good and cheap food, good beds and cheap too. The transportation, it's better to take the tourist transportation for A to B because it's much more safe than the chicken bus. The chicken bus is really nice for just going a short distance. Guatemala City is probably not the safest city, so you look in, in which area you are. Thank you.